is going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Yes, I have a bumper and a spoiler for my car and my hands are black. I just finished doing a bunch of yard work, but I wanted to keep you guys posted and, and tell you what's going on with uh, Donnie, which Donnie's hungry and I'm sweating balls right now. We got to go and feed Donnie. I got to get food for Donnie and for my other tortoises that don't have any. We are going to go to Fresco real quick and grab some vegetables. I usually don't get them from there, but I'm in a rush. Donnie's kind of hungry and I wanted to keep you guys posted and tell you what's going on with Donnie and all my other tortoises and what I plan on doing with that. All right, we are out here. Right, guys, you have no how bad my car smells. It smells so bad. I went to go catch bait yesterday to go peacock fishing with Mike and I left the fish in my net and it, you know, I didn't even notice, but it did happen to me before, but then I thought it was like the smell of the net because it smelled like fish and then I thought that's what stunk up my car and then like a day later I was like there's something smelling really bad then I look in the bottom of the net and there was like a dead cichlid and then now my car freaking reeks it's so funny how I have a drop net back there and that smells like tarpon so now I have tar the smell of tarpon and the smell of dead cichlids and stuff like that in, in, in my car so yeah all types of smells in my car. Look how disgusting my Crocs are. All right, yeah, I know. I did not film me going in the grocery store. I got yelled at for filming. So I'm just gonna show you and tell you guys what I got. So I got some cucumbers. I got like 12 of them. This is just for now for today. And then usually I buy them in bulk. Those are disgusting. I probably left those there. But um, then I have this. Right, let me let me just take this out. Perfect. All right, so yeah, I get this and then I get, um, ah. Perfect, now we're talking. All right, usually I just get one, one piece of this and then I'll go over. Look here, we got some of my red foots. They're already eating the Missouri diet. They love this. This is actually, like I said, my last video. These things are super, super healthy for the tortoises. And then I have this for the smaller tortoises. Move out, of, move out of my way and then i have this have it for these little guys little guy they love this stuff i'm like teasing this guy but here you go little guy there you go oh look there you go oh, oh look at this guy running guys you'd be surprised even when they're this size you think that because they're babies they they don't know but no when they see food they'll come and get it they love this stuff ain't that right little guy i call this guy grumpy because look look at his face he was born with a jaw let me see if you focus on that. What's the little guy? His jaw is like crooked. I think it's broken or something or it's just deformed. But I call him grumpy because he looks grumpy. But he's actually super healthy. Look at this little guy. But uh, we're going to put him back down there. There we go. See, Donnie already knows. And then we have like the small... Look, this guy already knows. Oh, look at her. Look, she, she loves this stuff. Like, can I, there we go. Look at that. She, she loves this stuff. Look at that. But um, we're going to get him some cucumbers. And... Uh, Cause he's hungry. There you go, big guy. Come on. Got it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. There we go. I like that, huh? <laughs> Donnie can actually eat. I think like he can probably eat about a dozen uh, cucumbers. The big ones too, and not, not the small ones, because there's some smaller ones. But he get he gets he gets a good um, Donnie gets a really nice appetite, so uh, I, that's why I like to give him cucumbers. He can't really eat these because they're too small, and you know it doesn't really fill him up. But it's really good for the uh, for the red foots. You gonna eat that? You don't want that one. You might want another one, right? Y'all want some? All right, let me cut up some cucumbers and then I'm gonna give it to uh, to the red foots. All right, I got some. All right, I got me some pre-cut uh, cucumbers. I'm gonna spread it out. Just do it with one hand. Just kind of spread it out. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Now we're talking. They love oh, cucumbers. What? They love that stuff. I right, just got cucumber all over my face. But yeah, someone's having a feeding fest. Oh look, there you got Donnie going. 
All right, so usually I like to get the red foots because they're all scattered around my yard and that's what I was gonna tell you guys. I plan on closing that part of the yard up and turning it to into my only red foot enclosure and then Donnie and the other Sarkatas are gonna have the rest of the yard for themselves and then I'm gonna cut certain parts of my yard off so they won't escape. All right, but I'm gonna grab some of the red foots, let them know that the uh, food is here before Donnie eats everything up because Donnie likes to do that. So we got one, I have seven red foots. So we have, I think we have three over there already so far. Look at this guy. There you go. And then I have, oh, there's the other one right there. Oh, he's my male, as you can see. Oops. He's got that concave on the bottom. So we got three there. Let's see four more. All right, so this is the problem with Salkata tortoises. Look, I put driftwood here to, you know, kind of like give life to the burrow. Even though they, you know, they dig a giant hole in my yard, but this is the problem with these. Oh my God, <laughs> I almost fell into the freaking burrow. Because look at the size of this freaking burrow in my yard. Look at this. So we do have a red foot down there. Um, I'm not sure if I want to grab him yet, but let's go grab the other ones and then we'll see how, how he's looking. But look at the size. I can literally fit. I can fit in this burrow if I wanted to. All right, so I pretty much got some of my red foots. A lot of them are eating. Some of them are not hungry because they did eat the Missouri diet earlier today but i do have my male my both my males and my fem my female eating but um this red foot that's down there is way too far down i just tried getting them and now i'm like super dirty and it just rained so this mud is like it's, it's like all mud and, and and rocks and and i really have to dig my body down there but um let's give you an update on donnie donnie donnie's doing just fine as you guys know farley and i rescued donnie yeah. off uh, an elderly an elderly lady who couldn't take care of him. She had severe cancer and she only had a certain amount of time to live. So I promised her I'd keep the name Donnie. Quick update on Donnie and you know how I got him if you guys didn't know. But yeah, Donnie's doing just fine. It is raining as you can see. You can see all the little water spots on the red foots. But um, they've been mating. Obviously you can see the male and the female doing pretty good there. But um, they're doing just fine. I do plan on closing this entire section off and then putting that part only sand and then the redfoots can mate and lay all their eggs and have babies all right guys that is it for today's video hope you guys enjoyed this video and this quick update of donnie and the other tortoises and we got luna we got luna over here um guys i am going to be posting some new why oh my gosh you just jumped all over donnie Guys, I am going to be posting up new fishing videos. Uh, it's just been a while. I've been tied up on a couple things. Do not forget... Luna, would you stop? What is going on with these dogs? Guys, do not forget to hit that red subscribe button and smash that like button. Tell me what you guys want to see next, and I'll see you later. Peace!